I'm going to do an exercise for American Mahjong using National Mahjong League rules. This exercise I call Charleston Force because we're going to pre-select three categories and force hands in those categories. It's a great way to get out of a rut if you play the same hands again and again. If you're new to Mahjong or if you already know how to play and just want to build your skills, consider subscribing to my channel. That way you won't miss anything. This is what we have to work with. Year, consecutive run, 369. For the first force, we're going to roll the dice. I rolled a 12. That would be a multiple of 4, so we are north seat non-dealer so i'll get 14 or 13 tiles and then i'll create a mock charleston with no jokers Okay, year, consecutive run, 369. We have a pair of fives here, five through nine, consecutive run. Let's go for it. So we could maybe do five, let's see, year. We do have a two and a white and wins, but we have way more tiles for consecutive run. I just keep all my tiles five through nine. So let's break all this up. North, two, green, seven, keep it. We have tiles we can pass. That's a little risky passing two wins with news on the card, but we have no gaps. You know what we maybe could do better by giving up the nine unless we get six seven eight nine let's go ahead and risk it nine at this point i would get rid of it i don't like passing white dragons if i don't have to there's a green seven eight nine green Let's go ahead and risk it now because we could maybe do seven, eight, nine, flower green. Options are good. No keepers. Six. Two tiles to pass. Five, six, seven, eight, nine. If a pair hand were on here, I would totally play that pair hand. Look. We're, we need an eight bam, a green, and a flower for a pair hand, but we're going for a prize, so I would stick with it and risk passing to go for a, pair, a prize. No keepers. I would pass these for optional cross. Okay, no good tiles there. I would discard all those and go for the very first consecutive run hand. We need an eight and a nine or a joker, and we could pung, pung, kong. This could even be a winner. This, this would be the first hand under consecutive run. That was pretty nice, but if I were playing without going for a prize i would have totally gone for that pair hand but i like winning prizes so i would go for it let's go to the next one I rolled a four, so we're going to be north again. Non-dealer.
three, six, nine, or the year. We do have a white dragon, but we have a pair of nines. No threes. We do have an eight. We really don't need this, but we could maybe do, let's see, three, six, nine, red. That's kind of a long shot. Three, six, nine, or the year. This would leverage the pair. I would go for three, six, nine. Hmm. Let's pass these three. There's a nine. And we have tiles we can pass here. I try not to pass dragons. Whoa, I hope nobody would pass a pair like that. If quints were on the board, I would probably switch to a quint. East red nine or east red eight. Let's pass these three. We're going for a prize. There's a three. We can break that up, break that up, pass three. There's a nine. You don't have to pick a hand till you run out of discards. We haven't even looked at the card. You really don't need to pick a hand yet. We're just gonna get rid of these discards. Oh, pair of twos and a red, yikes. Okay, now you pick a hand. So we have maybe three, six, nine, three, six, nine. I would not pass flower. I think what I would do is break up these pairs. Maybe even pass one blind. I don't think I'd wanna pass two dragons and a two for potential year hand. I don't like passing white dragons. I think I would pass one blind. Flower and a three. Three, six, nine, and threes. I think what I would do here, let's see here. I think I would probably try for the three, six, nine Kong hand and give up a three because I'd want to leverage these flowers. There are only two hands that use flowers in three, six, nine. The first one, and we don't have the dragon unless we use this, but then we have a gap. I suppose we could do that. Maybe pick up a three, bam. The other thing we could do is three, six, nine Kongs. Either way, we really didn't use these. Let's give up the nine for optional cross. No keepers. Look at all these discards. This was a terrible Charleston. I would hold on to the threes because it fits the category. I would discard these and then bring in every three, six, nine I could and then make a choice. Probably if I had to pick a hand, I'd play the three, six, nine Kong hand, which is the fourth one down. If we picked up a green dragon or a three bam, Either way, we could maybe play the very first one as well. That was a bit rough, but 369, we've got some tiles for it. Okay, let's go on to the year. five so we're going to be the dealer we'll get 14 tiles
Okay, we have a white dragon. Here's a flower. Here's a one, north, two, eight, eight. We're going to force a year hand. So we're going to gather every two, one, eight, north, and white because that's all the tiles from that category. Winds, two, one, eight, flowers. So we're going to pass these. Let's pass one of each suit. There's an eight. Maybe 2018 with dry, uh, winds. We'll see. Okay, let's pass one of each suit. Six, seven, nine. Let's leave ourselves a mixed suit for another pass, just in case we get everything we want. And look, we got ones. Here's a one. 2018, we have maybe Joker bait. We don't need any other dragons with dots anyway. Let's pass these three. We got a West and a one. I think at this point we could probably commit to news with 2018, the concealed hand. We have a whole Charleston left. I'm going to break up this pair because I do not want to be stuck with a pair and I don't want to pass an eight and a one together either. But in this case, we have to, one way or another, maybe. No keepers here. Let's break these up. The eight crack and the one bam, because there is that big ear hand on the card under singles and pairs. There's two, and we have tiles to pass. One, nine, two. There's a north, but we already have one. Two, zero, one, eight. Let's pass these three. I don't think there's anything in here, but we'll go through the motions. We got a one, three. Five discards, but we have N E, we need a east and a or N W, we need a east and a south, but we have no gaps and our pairs are ready. We just need a white and a one, maybe a joker in here to help. If not, we could just hopefully draw in the natural tiles, which would be nice. But I think we did pretty good for a year hand. You know, you might even keep these for a little while, discard those first because they do fit the year category. That could even be a winner. Charleston Force is a great exercise, especially if you're new to the game and you're just learning the categories and the hands. You can force yourself to play categories you might normally avoid, or you can do this exercise to prepare for a tournament and win a prize. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, consider subscribing. Click that little gray bell if you do so you get notification for when I post new videos and you won't miss an opportunity to learn a new strategy or pick up an insight to the game that could give you an advantage at the table. Between now and the next Charleston Force for American Mahjong using National Mahjong League rules, may all your picks be keepers.